But residents behind on water bills are seeing some relief and not long after the city's annual lien notices were mailed out. Yeah, the city has since rescinded those notices, meaning liens will not be issued against the properties. Our Ken Davis talked with the mayor. So Kent, what changed? Well, Neely says water is a human right and that people don't deserve the difficulties involved with a lien. However, he does want to emphasize that this is not debt forgiveness. The problem is that if these accounts are not made good on, uh, it, it throws our system into a disarray and it could topple our system. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely says the city buys its water from Gliwa up front, so it needs billing revenue to cover the next year. And while a vast majority of Flint residents are up to date, the remaining 15% seriously set the funds back. Totaling about $17 million is owed to the city of Flint. However, Neely tells us a lien on many of these properties running behind would be an undue pressure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Richard McLean of LMW Rentals says that pressure could come up to thousands of dollars. Your delinquent city Flint water bill has been turned over to the enforcement department for collection. He and LMW just received notices of impending liens for bills that were behind before they bought the properties. And they say it's a seriously discouraging notice. They simply don't want to buy in Flint anymore. It's part of why Neely announced a rescission of these notices and has invited Flint residents running behind to come sign up for a payment plan. He says he's trying his best to balance the needs of residents with the need to manage the city's coffers. We have uh, went back into find a way uh, in a compliance with law that gives us the ability to be able to help families where they are. Neely says the hardest part will probably be settling inactive accounts because the people who owe those back payments may have died or moved away. In Flint, Kent Davis, ABC 12 News.